What's going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And on my desk today, I have what would be what's supposed to be the next iPhone 11 range. So we've got the iPhone 11 Max. We've got the iPhone 11 R over there with a white uh, camera area and the iPhone 11, just a standard version. So one, one thing I wanted to talk about was just the design of these devices and not really diving too much about specs and stuff because all rumors and including this is a rumor. We don't actually know if this is going to be if this is gonna be the final design of what we can expect, but they haven't got it really wrong in so many years now, so I'm expecting it to be what we can see in front of us. Maybe we'll see slight differences, like changes like volume buttons and stuff like that, the silent vibration, vibration button on the side might be slightly different, but we'll see, we'll wait for that in September and see what they actually bring out. But without further ado, let's have a look at this camera design and uh, see what we think of it. So here looking at the iPhone 10, you can see white like. So at the moment the camera is just vertical, so it's kind of like just straight down with the flash in the middle there and then microphone, etc. Um, which is really nice. It's basic, it's simple, there's nothing wrong with that. But Apple haven't done anything drastic in a long time, anything drastic in a long time in terms of design of their devices. And it just leaves people wondering like what's going on. The design looks very similar to the Mate 20 Pro here, which I've got here. So you can see the square camera design, the layout, the camera array that they've got with flash on the top corner. It's very symmetrical. They've placed it right in the center, which looks really good. I actually quite like it when Huawei released this and that was perfect. But Apple have the thing for putting camera in the, in the corner of their devices, which I don't know why. It's a bit asymmetrical, so it's not the nicest design for most people, but you get used to it over time. But looking at the new ones, you've got this square shaped design here. So on the Max and the standard 11, you get the three camera design there. So again, hopefully we'll get telephoto standard and an ultra wide lens and then the flash in the corner. But even the flash looks out of place if you look at where it is on top there. I'm not sure about that at all. Another thing is if you get a white device like this, you then get this black background on the camera array, which again, looks out of place. I'm not a fan of that at all either. But if you look at the R, I think they've done that really well. I can I can cope with that with the white background on the square area with the camera array and the flash and the two camera actually sits better than the other one. So again, this one maybe we'll get a telephoto and a standard, but I'm really hoping that they give us ultra wide angle. I prefer that because I use that on my Samsung phone and I really like using ultra wide angle over telephoto any day. I'll take that. But guys, let me know what you prefer in the comments below. Elsewhere, we still get that lightning connector there. So nothing's changed there at all. Volume rocker on the sides power button and uh, yeah, still no headphone jack. Um, that's not gonna change anytime soon, to be honest. Again, another thing is to see how bumpy it is or how raised it is from the device as well, which is quite similar across the board. Um, so on this R head I'm looking at, you can see the camera just sticks out ever so slightly, but not as much as the current 10, as you can see there. So again, I prefer that it's not too bumpy. So, but when you put cases on it, I don't know how that's gonna look. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the kind of accessories that we get with the new iPhone 11. But anyway, it's just a quick rundown of this design. I'm not a big fan, as you can tell, but I think it's something that you get used to. I'm all about function over this functionality over design anyway. So if we can get that ultra wide angle lens, um, upgraded camera, as usual, I'm guessing we're gonna get an upgraded processor chip in there, maybe a bigger RAM, who knows, bigger battery. That's just my shopping list of things I would like to see. Bigger battery, maybe bigger RAM in there as well. Um, but yeah, we shall see. Um, but that's it for the iPhone 11 rundown for me, just on the design front. Um, I'm not trying to dive into everything else because it's all rumors and we don't really know the, uh, what we're actually gonna get. But if, I, if I'm to go by history, uh, rumors are usually right when it comes to Af um, Apple products. But anyway, guys, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.